Today's the day I've got the brand new iPhone 16 Pro right here and it's in this stunning new desert titanium finish. I'm going to walk you through everything that's new and we'll compare it to the iPhone 15 Pro to see if it's really worth the upgrade. So let's jump in. Alright, let's get this iPhone out of the box. As always, Apple keeps it sleek with the packaging. But look at this color. Desert Titanium. What do you guys think? Personally, I'm loving this new finish. It's just one of four new colors Apple has introduced this year, alongside black, white, and natural titanium. In the box, we also get the braided high-quality USB-C to USB-C cable, SIM ejector tool, and some paperwork. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Does it feel different? Absolutely. This titanium frame feels incredibly premium. While the iPhone 15 Pro also had a titanium frame, Apple has refined the material even further in the 16 Pro, making it lighter and giving it even more durable finish. I'm curious, are any of you planning to go for this color or would you pick one of the others? Let me know in the comments below. Ok, let's talk about the display. The iPhone 16 Pro comes with a slightly larger display than the 15 Pro. It now has 6.3 inch Super Retina XDR display compared to the 6.1 inch display on the iPhone 15 Pro. This might seem like a small difference but the extra screen really enhances the viewing experience. Whether you're watching videos, gaming or just browsing. The display also gets a major brightness boost. Now it can reach up to 2500 nits peak brightness compared to the 2000 nits on the iPhone 15 Pro. This means it's 25% brighter making it even better for outdoor use in bright sunlight. Apple has also improved the touch responsiveness so whether you're gaming or scrolling through social media, everything feels smoother and more responsive than ever. This is what everyone's talking about, the new camera control button. It's perfectly placed so your right hand index finger can rest on it naturally when you're holding the phone sideways. But what makes it special? It's pressure sensitive meaning it can detect how hard you press and even lets you adjust settings like zoom, exposure and aperture just by sliding your finger. You can also use it as a quick access button to open the camera app or even start recording the video. Imagine this, one light press locks focus and a full press snaps the picture. Just like a professional DSLR camera. Oh, and it even gives you a little haptic feedback when you use it. What would you guys use this for? Taking quick snaps or adjusting settings like a pro? The iPhone 15 Pro already had a fantastic camera. But the iPhone 16 Pro takes it up a notch. It features a new 48 megapixel main sensor that offers up to 30% better low light performance. Ok, performance. This is where it gets really fun. The iPhone 16 Pro has the new A18 Bionic chip, Apple's fastest yet. 20% more powerful than the A17 in the 15 Pro. It's going to handle anything you throw at it, from hardcore gaming to multitasking like a boss. And you're getting about 2 hours extra of screen time thanks to better battery efficiency. Who doesn't want more juice, right? And let's not forget the iPhone 16 Pro comes with upgraded Wi-Fi 7 for blazing fast internet speeds and better connectivity. Plus, with the iOS 18 you get customizable lock screen, improved face ID, and all those sweet privacy features we love. So what do you think? Is the iPhone 16 Pro worth it over the 15 Pro? For me the larger, brighter display, camera improvements and better performance makes it a win. But I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below and tell me your thoughts. Thanks for watching the video I hope you really enjoyed. For more videos like this subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. And also follow me on social media. The links will be in the description below.